Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. We like to think we know about the animal kingdom. Fish swim, birds fly, and rabbits multiply. But there are some animals that are not what we expect them to be. They defy the logic of what we expect of them, or of animals in general. While some animals are just unique due to their unusual appearances, others, however, have some unusual behaviors that set them apart from the crowd. You will be truly surprised to see some of the animals on our list today as you may have seen them around in your everyday life, but never knew the trick they had up their sleeve. So without any further delay, here are the top 10 bizarre and odd animals in the world. Number 10. The fish that doesn't swim. Common logic has it that fish should be able to swim. Well, there's one that can't swim, or at least can't do it so very well. Enter the red-lipped batfish. The red-lipped batfish is found in the waters off the Galapagos Islands, where it walks on the seabed instead of swimming like other fish. Even the walking motion has been described as being more of a stagger than a walk. It is unknown why the red-lipped batfish moves the way it does, although it is assumed that its bat-like body is not streamlined enough. The fish walks with its pectoral and pelvic fins, which other fish use to swim, and propels itself forward with its anal fin. The red-lipped batfish's seeming inability to swim has some positive outcomes, though. It has no predators and is generally unaffected by any change in the environment since it's usually hanging out on the floor. This allows it to live up to 12 years on average, despite its small size. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that will take just 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell and you get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 9. Snake Dressed Like an Earthworm Most people who have seen the Brahmini blind snake do not know they have seen it. This is because it resembles an earthworm. It has been introduced in most parts of the world, which means a good number of us may have seen it without even realizing it. Fear not though, they are not venomous. The Brahmini blind snake is native to Southeast Asia, from where it spread to other parts of the world. It is usually found in the soil and under rotting leaves and logs. It is also found in gardens, flower beds, and flower pots. In fact, it is believed to have been unknowingly exported out of Asia while living in flower pots. This is also why it's called the flower pot snake. Like all snakes, the Brahmini blind snake is covered in shiny scales. It has a pair of eyes which are barely visible in a tiny tongue. It will usually stick out its tongue when held. It does not have the segmented body like earthworms and cannot stretch or contrast like earthworms. The snake feeds on ants and termite eggs and grows between 6.4 and 16.5 centimeters in length. Number 8. Dog that doesn't bark. Again, common logic has it that dogs bark. Enter the Basenji, which doesn't bark. It is nicknamed the barkless dog for this reason. It can howl, shriek, cough, and make a yodel like sound, but it doesn't bark. The dog, whose name translates to bush thing, was first bred in ancient Egypt. It later made its way to the Congo where tribes used it for hunting. This is why it is sometimes called the Congo Terrier or the Zenda Dog. The Basenji was first exported to England in 1937 after a series of failed attempts to export it in the 19th and 20th centuries. It made its way to the US thereafter. In the 1980s, more Basenjis were exported from Africa to breed with the Basenjis overseas, which were already suffering from hereditary issues caused by the limited gene pool. Interestingly, this breed produced a brindle color which was not seen in Basenjis beforehand. Number 7. Fish That Lives on Land The Pacific Leaping Blenny is a fish that lives exclusively on land. While we already know about the fish that are fond of leaving the water to hunt animals on land, those fish still return to the water from time to time. It seems like the Pacific Leaping Blenny did not get this memo. It exclusively lives on land and detests the water so much that it flees from the smallest of waves. Whether it is afraid of water or just hates it, we do not know. The Pacific Leaping Blenny has gills for breathing in water, but has evolved to breathe through its skin when on land. This is a caveat though. The skin has to be moist. The fish keeps its skin moist by rolling in puddles that form on the shoreline. This is the reason why it just hangs around rocks and caves by the ocean but does not stray far away. They can be found on the rocks around the island of Guam. Number 6. Mammal That Lays Eggs The first scientist to analyze a specimen of the platypus thought that it was fake. And it's not hard to see why. The platypus looks like a mashed up cross between a duck, beaver, and an otter. It has a bill, webbed feet, a tail, and a body covered in thick fur. It also lays eggs. 
making it the only one of two mammals that do so. The other is the echidna. To complete the weirdness, the males produce venom, which they release from their rear leg spurs. Scientists have sequenced the DNA of the platypus and discovered that it contains the DNA of birds and reptiles. They also discover that it has 10 sex chromosomes, 5X and 5Y. For comparison, we humans have just one X and one Y chromosome for males. This means the platypus, theoretically, should be able to produce 25 different sexes, although it only has two. Number 5. The Warm-Blooded Fish Fishes are known to be cold-blooded animals. So, imagine how astounded researchers were when they found a warm-blooded one, introducing the opa, aka the moonfish, which is the only warm-blooded fish we have found. The discovery was made by researchers with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. While other fish take the temperature of their environment, the opa is able to regulate its own body temperature by constantly flipping its pectoral fin. It also uses a counter heat exchange method that allows it to use the warm deoxygenated blood, leaving the gills to warm the cooler oxygenated blood flowing into the gills. This result is that the opa can dive to deeper depths than any other fish. It can also remain down below for a longer period of time, unlike other fish which will need to rise closer to the surface to keep their organs working. The opa is also able to swim faster and see better and has a faster reaction time than other fish. Number 4. Lizard with no legs Try recalling the lizards you are familiar with, and you will realize that they only have four legs. This is even though there are lizards that do not have legs. Most people confuse these lizards for snakes, even though they are not. Legless lizards evolved from legged lizards and have characteristics similar to them. Legless lizards and snakes have some things in common though. They both have scales and forked tongues. They also eat eggs and small animals like mice, though the legless lizards have a limit to what they can swallow because their jaws are not flexible like snakes. However, some species, like the Burton's legless lizard, has flexible jaws and can even hiss and kill by constriction, just like snakes. On the other hand, legless lizards have eyelids and ear openings, while snakes do not. They also move with their side and cannot move with their belly scales like snakes. This is the reason why legless lizards cannot move on smooth surfaces. Legless lizards have longer tails than snakes and can even shed them when threatened. The shed tail often breaks into more than one piece, a slide that has been compared to shattering glass, which is why they are also called glass lizards. Snakes cannot shed their tails. Number 3. The Water Bear The tardigrade, aka the water bear, is a microscopic animal famous for its ability to withstand the harshest conditions. It is found from the depths of the coldest oceans to the summits of the highest mountains to the sands of the hottest deserts. It will even survive the radiation of space and can be brought back to life with the addition of water, even if it has been dried out for decades. Scientists looked into the DNA of the tardigrade and discovered that 17.5% of it is from plants, bacteria, and fungi. The presence of bacteria DNA is believed to be the reason why it can survive extreme conditions. While some animals have showed up in the DNA of other organisms, the proportion of the tardigrade is pretty high. Only the microscopic rotifer comes close to 9%. The mystery that remains unsolved is how the tardigrade makes the foreign DNA work with its own. Number 2. Flying Snake Technically, the flying snake does not fly. It glides, but its ability to effortlessly glide from tree to tree is the reason it's called the flying snake. Five species of related snakes have been identified as flying snakes. All belong to the Chrysopelia genus and are found in South and Southeast Asia. True to their gliding nature, the flying snakes live in trees from which they glide to other trees or the ground. They are able to glide to nearby trees and have been even recorded at going a distance up to 300 feet away. To glide, the snakes flatten their bodies the moment they jump from the tree. They then glide through the air by moving the front part of their bodies in a side-to-side -side motion while moving their tails up and down. As flying snakes hunt during the day, it is believed that they will fly from the top of one tree to a lower level of another tree to hunt their prey. In addition to saving energy compared to ground traveling, the gliding from tree to tree keeps the flying snake away from ground predators. Because they don't have limbs, the flying snakes can actually glide better than flying squirrels. Studies conducted at Virginia Tech showed that flying snakes radically alter their body shape and perform an undulating dance in the air. This produces aerodynamic forces that enhance the actual gliding motion. Number 1. The Animal Plant we all know that plants create their food from carbon dioxide and water with the aid of sunlight through photosynthesis. What we do not know is that an animal has learned to use photosynthesis to create its own food, introducing the green sea slug, one of the few animals with the ability to photosynthesize. 
Found in New England and Canada, the green sea slug resembles a cross between a sea slug and a plant, thanks to its top rear that resembles a leaf. The leaf-like look is the product of feeding on algae. The sea slug somehow managed to take the genes from the algae, which is how it's able to create its own chlorophyll for photosynthesis. This means that the slug can continue to exist even if it does not eat. Researchers at the University of South Florida, Tampa, who have been studying the slugs for over two decades, captured some and put them in an aquarium. They observed that the slugs continued to live for months without feeding, provided they were exposed to 12 hours of light a day. The slugs were also able to pass the chlorophyll gene to their offspring, although the offspring were unable to perform photosynthesis until they fed on algae to get chloroplasts, which are necessary for photosynthesis.